Good morning guys and gals. Welcome back to Tubes Time. We have got a great video lined up for you today. We're going to be putting hand milking and machine milking head to head so that you can decide which one of these two options is better suited for you on your homestead. So stay tuned. You are not going to want to miss this one. If you guys have ever watched any of my videos of me down at the cow barn, then you know that I use a machine for milking. So you may be wondering, if you use a machine for milking, how are you going to give me an unbiased perspective on why I should use my hands to milk instead? Well, for that, we are actually doing our very first collaboration, and it is going to be with Cody Knox from More Than Farmers. They are a up-and-coming YouTube channel that's all about homesteading, family, and the kitchen. You guys really need to go check them out. I'm going to have a link in the description that you can click on to head over to his channel and watch their video on hand milking which will give you the second half of the story for me we're going to head down to the barn and i'm going to show you why i think that machine milking is the best option for you to make comparing these two milking procedures easier on you guys we're going to go ahead and label each one of these bullet points so that you can write these down and compare them whenever you go to actually watch this other video. It seems to me that the obvious and most popular reason for people to try out machine milking is for speed. So let's go ahead and start with that one. So I believe that using a milking machine is way faster than hand milking. And we're not talking about the setup and tear down, we're talking about from the actual time you put your hands to your cow's udders, which one of these two methods is faster, the milking machine would obviously take the gold on that one. If speed of milking is something that you're going for, bite the bullet on the milking machine. I never did give hand milking a very long try. I always intended on using a machine because of the amount of cows that we planned on having, but I would have never been able to even touch the speed of this milking machine. I can milk out a three gallon cow in under seven minutes and being human fatigue does not play a role you will have the same milking speed for every cow every time before i get too deep into the rest of these bullet points you may be wondering what machine am i even using if you watched our owning a family milk cow video then you know that we did not pay full price for this machine. We got our machine for a very good deal because it was broken whenever we got it. I repaired it and now we have like a $1,700 machine for a hundred bucks, you know. But what we actually have is a Slavic Beauty milking machine. It's old, it's seen its better days, but this milking machine still does an amazing job. It's actually a two cow milking machine. My stanchion is only set up to have one cow being milked at a time. So what I actually did was remove the extra claw from this machine and plug the extra outlet ports so that all I'm doing is pulling from this one claw at a time. So now I essentially just have a backup claw sitting in my garage for whenever this one decides to go kaput. Enough talking about the machine that I use, let's move on to our next point, which is how much time using a milking machine frees up. So as I stated a minute ago, we don't just have one cow. We like to have two cows and milk at a time. We have a total of six cows right now. We don't milk all of them. We're only milking two of them. But with that being said, using the milking machine frees up a lot of time because I don't have to keep my hands on my cow the entire milking process. I can put these milking cups on her, the milking machine starts doing its thing, and I can actually go off and start doing some of my chores that I have around the barn dealing with the other cows, whether that is feeding the cows, loving on the cows, because that's also important, or if that's mucking out their stalls. So for those reasons, that's definitely going to be point number two. Point number three, a milking machine is much less labor intensive. And what I mean by that is not only does it not require you to build up muscles in your hands, which I'm very into fitness, I don't mind building muscle, but someone like my wife who has carpal tunnel, for instance, she wanted to be able to milk these cows. Does she? 
no because of the kiddos she's not able to make it out here that early but if you do have hand problems wrist problems elbow problems and shoulder holy cow shoulder problems <laughs> uh, you definitely would want to go the route of a milking machine because hand milking a cow will do nothing but compound those problems that you already have the amount of labor involved in actually using this milking machine is limited to you actually picking this claw up putting it under your cow's udder and letting those things suction cup to her teats and then off you go to the races and that brings me to point number four cleaner milk there are several things i want to mention about this whenever we were doing our research we obviously wanted as clean a milk as possible because not only were we going to be milking these cows for us but we're going to also be selling some of the milk and we do not want to sell milk that has an off flavor or that has particles in it that should not be in it other than the milk itself with that being said just like with hand milking cleanliness is huge so you have to make sure that your cow's udder is properly groomed you have to make sure that your cow's udder is clean and you have to make sure before you start milking that your cow's udder is really dry depending on where it is that you're milking having your milk in a bucket open to the air it can actually start to absorb barn smells or the smell of the cow that you're milking. And being clean in general will help minimize those odors. But using a milking machine, you are milking your cow with a closed loop system. And what this ensures is that the only thing that makes its way into that milking machine pail is milk. You're not going to get any of the dirt. You're not going to get any of the hair in there. And the milk is sitting inside of that closed pail the entire time. So it is not open to the environment and open to all of those nasty smells that you have lingering around your barn while we're on the subject of cleanliness let's go ahead and knock out a common misconception these machines are not difficult to clean people act like oh hand milking is so much nicer because you don't have all that stuff to clean so we go over a lot of this in detail in our milking routine video but let me go ahead and show you a quick example of what it looks like on a daily basis whenever I'm actually cleaning this machine milk times over all I'm gonna do is turn this machine back on I'm going to close loop the claw and start dipping it in and out of this bucket that has bleach water and soap dip it in pull it out dip it in pull it out until you suck down that five gallon bucket to you know just a couple inches above the bottom in which I'll take the lid to the milking machine and just let it soak in there while I'm taking care of the rest of the buckets in the barn obviously with the machine in terms of cleaning every so often you're going to want to do a little bit of a deeper clean which more or less consists of replacing things like the hoses for instance and maybe taking your claw inside and doing a deeper soak deeper clean with it but you're talking about minimal labor it's not very often you even have to do that if you properly clean it after every single milking so if you do plan on milking more than one cow like i have milking machine is an amazing option to save yourself so much time and trouble so you may be wondering how long does it take you to milk your cows using a milking machine? Well, the entire process kind of just depends on exactly what your setup is. Me, as you can see here, I'm a good long ways away from my house. So I have to account travel time in there which in total is about eight minutes added to my entire milking process. So from the time I'm filling up my buckets, loading them into the back of my truck, and then make the trek all the way down here and unload everything into the milking stanchion area and milk the cows, clean the machine, yada, 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 you're looking at anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour total after I have drained the milk and I'm back inside ready to do something else. So I don't feel like that's all that much time, especially for milking two cows. Something you may be wondering is, holy cow, your house is way the heck up there. Do you have power out there? How do you actually run this machine? We run our milking machine off of a generator. A generator is an outstanding option to run a milking machine if you want your barn way away from the house. So our generator actually powers this milking machine and it also powers three fans that we have in here for summertime. Whenever we have flies, we kick those fans on and it blows the flies away from us out of the barn and keeps us cool at the same time. And also 
in early mornings when I have no light, it also runs a light for me. And it can at the same time, while she's being milked, run a pair of clippers to trim her udder up. So if you don't have power at your barn, but you do have an old generator lying around, there you go, you can run a milking machine. So another common misconception I would really love to clear up is people in their heads when they think milking machine, they think of like something like way out in the future, sci-fi like cow and farmer completely disconnected from one another. That is not the case at all. So with a milking machine, you still have to love all over your cows because if your cow doesn't know who you are and doesn't like you she's not going to stand there and let you put those milking cups on her just like whenever you're hand milking she's not going to stand there and be a good girl and not kick her bucket over you know you really have to get to know your cows whether or not you're hand milking or you're using a machine with the machine milking i'm still kneeling down next to her i'm still rubbing all over her i'm still rubbing her udder Whenever you get towards the end of her milk supply while milking with the machine, sometimes you'll think that the machine's completely done milking her and you'll actually have to rub on her udder a little bit and um, squeeze certain parts of her udder to actually let her know that she needs to let down a little more or get that last remaining milk out of her so that you can completely milk her dry. Using a milking machine is not completely hands off. That is a misconception. It's not something she walks into, it milks her, and then she leaves, and you never even say hey to your cow. That is not at all the case. So being you're this up close and personal, even on really, really cold winter mornings, people are like, I can't believe you actually go out and milk whenever it's that dead gum cold outside. This cow keeps me warm. She is so big, and she has so much body heat coming off of her. The times I am in the stanchion having to deal with her, she keeps me warm. So after saying all that, you have to be wondering, come on, man, you have to like hand milking a little bit. I mean, there's got to be some things you like about it. Of course there is. That's why whenever we first got our cow, I did try the hand milking out and I just realized it was way too slow for me. It was taking way too much time for me. I didn't give myself the amount of time I needed to get really good at it, but I knew even if I was good at it, the milking machine was going to speed my process up drastically. But if poop hits the fan, and I needed to do it, I can. I know how to do it, and I really enjoyed whenever I did hand milk the simplicity of it. I really liked that feeling that I was doing something our ancestors have done for years and years and years. I also like the fact that if you do just have one cow and you want to hand milk, that's a lot of money that you can save, and we're all about saving money. Again, if we didn't get such a good deal on that milking machine, I would probably still be hand milking. <laughs> so being I have actually had experience hand milking, those guys out there who are willing to hand milk and who just absolutely love it, mad respect to you, honestly. I just prefer this method. So now that I'm done talking your ear off on why you should go out and get yourself a milking machine, I'm gonna go ahead and play this teaser trailer from Cody Knox over at More Than Farmers for his half of this video, which is why you should hand milk instead of using a milking machine. Howdy folks, Cody here at More Than Farmers. Let's go ahead and get this battle started with my side of the story on hand milking versus machine milking. First things that I think of when I think of hand milking is honestly just the nostalgia of it and the bragging rights for it. One of the biggest things for a lot of people is what happens if the power goes out. With a milker, you've got to use chemicals with your cow every single morning. Well, there you have it, guys. That's my half of the story. I really want you to head on over to More Than Farmers channel and watch their half of this collaboration on why you should hand milk and decide for yourself which of these two methods fits your farm the best. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, go ahead and press that like button. Hit the notification bell so you're alerted whenever we drop more videos. Comment down below for something you would like to know that we haven't shared with you guys from our homestead. And also subscribe to our channel it helps us out a ton thank you guys god bless you we'll see you on the next one